president later gave a speech about the situation in Sudan's Darfur region. He visited the Darfur exhibit. This is about five minutes. Darfur exhibit, which opened almost two years ago to the day in the winter of 2005. Most of the pictures that you see have been taken by museum staff. Uh, we opened it after the U.S. genocide determination. This picture, I think, is particularly symbolic because um, it was taken by my colleague Jerry in Tulum, Chad, a refugee camp, and after the photo was taken, this old man said, now this grandfather can be happy because his story can be told. Over here, um, I've been to Darfur three or four times. I lived in Sudan a number of years ago. And I think this tells the whole story. This is the story of Hadia. This woman here, Hadia, who fled the village of Farawiya in North Darfur after her entire village was attacked. She was shot in the leg twice by a Sudanese soldier who was guarding a well. And here she is in a dry riverbed um, on the border between Chad and, and Sudan. And it really shows you the the, the, the harsh terrain that people are are living in right now with nothing that sustains them because everything has been destroyed. I refer to it as a death, death threat. I mean, it's, it's, you know. Yeah. And here's a typical home that you see over and over and over the destruction of the homes. Um, everything that sustains these people has been ruined. The water wells, the seas, the homes, and then their water table. The water table is about 20 feet deep. But it's, 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 it's porous, it's sand, so it's kind of difficult to dig. I'd like to take you over here to introduce you to my colleague, Larry Swader, who's our chief information officer, Hello, who's going to yeah. demonstrate um, a recent Sir. launch. Uh, there's, there's your house. Yeah. Um, uh, we're calling it the uh, Genocide Prevention Mapping Initiative. Yeah, I'm aware of this. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Our Google Earth project. Yeah. This is our Google Earth project. Start with the White House because this is how most people get their start in the software. They look at their own home and it's a really personal, powerful experience because of that. Uh, tens of millions of people have access to the software worldwide and starting last week they saw something that was unprecedented. And that's the outlining of the provinces of Darfur here when they fly over Africa. And this is something Google's never done before. And as we zoom into Darfur, you can see the over 1,600 d damaged and destroyed villages um, here that's information that we got from the State Department. And if I turn on the legend, you can see that the yellow icons here represent damaged and the red represent destroyed. Let's zoom in on one of the villages to get a closer look. This is the village of Chate and you can see the darkened, hollowed out circles that were once homes, burned just down. like in the picture over there. They're burned down. Another way of looking at the information is by turning on a 3D view of the displaced persons camps and the refugee camps. You can see at a glance here the darkened blue columns that are in uh, Sudan, they're displaced persons camps, and the light ones across the border Chad. in Chad that are refugee camps. Uh, there are also pictures available here in the interface and I'm going to go to one now that was taken by Brian Steidel, a former U.S. Marine who was in uh, Sudan as a part of the African Union Monitoring Force. And this picture is of one-year-old Mihad Hamid. Um, and elsewhere in the interface, you can find a video that shows Brian Steidel actually describing the taking of that picture. I'll just play you a little clip of that. This was uh, one of the first photographs I took in Sudan. Uh, her name is Mihad Hamid. She's one years old. The government attacked the village of Aliyah. Her mother was carrying her, uh, wrapped around the side of her uh, with cloth, as they often do. Um, and she was shot, entry wounded in the upper right side of her back and the exit wound in the lower left. So this is an example of the integration of data that you can get in here that, would, that helps people understand something they couldn't ordinarily understand very easily. Not only do you get a better idea of what genocide looks like in Sudan, but it makes it that much more difficult for the perpetrators to refute what's happening. It's just right, right there in a very visual